That's right. Mm -hmm. So you want that definition, right? Yeah. The word degenerate says <clears throat> lacking some property order or distinctness of structure. Mm. It says a an emotion. Ain't, ain't that a reprobate? Yep. That's right. It says uh, an immoral or corrupt person. Mm -hmm. Reprobate. Yep. Yep. Reprobate. It says uh, a pervert. Mm. <laughs> a. Uh, it says to decline or deteriorate. Going to pervert. Pervert. Because <laughs> it ain't an older man looking. At, it ain't an older man looking at a younger one. Yeah. All right. Of marriageable age. Because if you fit this something, you look at an 18 year old, he's a pervert, he's a pervert. Learn the meaning of your words first. Right, or you'll right. be a fucking mouth. That's why the majority of these people don't even need to be speaking anyway. I know, right? It's going to show you the definition of the word pervert. It ain't with fucking sleazy. That's a new speak. Yep. Okay. You're right. The word pervert, a verb, it says to turn someone aside from a right religious belief to a false. See? Wow. That's what that's what the true meaning of the word mean. Yeah. Sleazy and ticket it made it made it seem like if an older man look at a younger yep. woman that's of marriageable age, he's a pervert. Damn. That's why this man got to go, Kapasha. You know what I'm yep. saying? That's, that's a true yep. dish, that's a true definition yep. of pervert right there. Yep. A person that turns you away from the true knowledge of the Lord. Yep. That's a real pervert right there, man. Mm -hmm. So these guys are fucking perverts, bro. Yep. All right, Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the Apostle and Elders of the Great Millstone, who teach and rule well in all truth and sincerity. Shalom, peace, and blessings to the hopeful elect, the house of David, which consists of the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, Latinos, and Native American and similar, in, similar Indians. All right. But yeah, man, that's what, that's what you get uh, with Great Millstone, all right, in the clip you just saw. All right. They teach you to, you know, go into, you know, words, you know, the real meaning of words, you know, do do your research and study and and don't be a zombie, man. And as um as Elder Apostle Taurus uh, says all the time, man, they teach you to think, not how to think. All right. Not just follow, not just follow people blindly, man. So that so that's what that's what you get in following um Great Millstone. All right. And I, and I know that sounds like something that you hear in a commercial or some type of promo or something. But it's it's just the truth, man. All right. So let's start with let's start with uh. Matter of fact, let's start with that in second uh Timothy instead of show uh that self approve. Second Timothy two. This is the book of Second Timothy chapter two verse fifteen. Study to show. Thyself approved unto the most high workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, and to rightly divide the word of truth, you have to know, you know, the breakdown, the precepts, and you have to know the meaning of words. All right, and as you heard, um, Elder Howard of GMS North Carolina bring out, man, he gave he gave a quick a quick example. All right, as you saw in the clip in the beginning of this video. All right, how um. Esau Edom has changed, you know, the meaning of words around, man, to bring about confusion. Because Esau Edom is the um, physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. And Satan means adversary, all right? And, and, he, uh, and Satan is, so like your Satan is adverse to the scriptures, man, to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? So he changed, you know, the real uh, meaning of words, all right, and the origins of words that the Most High gave us. You know, Esau made it the opposite, man. All right, so you really have to study. All right, and know what these things, know what these words mean when you see them in Bible, and when you read them in, when you read the scriptures, so you can know what they mean in um in Bible context. All right, and not not the terms that we use that we think of. All right, the meaning that we think of today. And as you heard the elder bring out, man, pervert is just one word of meaning that Esau changed around, man. All right. And as he said, as he brought out, man, pervert means to, you know, turn basically like to turn away, all right, from the most high. Or to um turn something away from its from its true course. Which in the Bible is talking about, you know, turning 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 people away from the one true power, all right, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Alright. Let's get um 
few examples of that. I ain't, I ain't got no scriptures all right, written down, in them, but we're just going to uh, get a few scriptures all right, with that word pervert. Because as you heard the elder bring out, that's the true meaning. All right. Not to, uh, when you see it in the, um, in the scriptures, it, it ain't talking about being a sexual deviant. All right. Because in this society, you know, an older man looking at or being with a young woman is basically considered a pervert. All right. But in, but in our, um, in our truth, um, Israelite culture and our heritage, all right. You are able to marry young women much younger than we are able to marry them today in Esau society, all right, in, in, in this wicked um, society that we in now. All right, so let's see what we got. Uh, what I talked oh, okay, I got it. Let me get it. So lock it, bear with me for a second. Let's just get a few scriptures, man. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's says 23 and 6, you are not pervert justice for the poor among you in their lawsuits. That's a good one. Deuteronomy 16 and 19, thou shalt not risk judgment, thou shalt not respect person, neither take a gift for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. Yeah, man. So that's basically what Esau has done, man. He's perverted the words. Of the righteous of all uh, the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And you can clearly see in, in, in Deuteronomy 16 and 19, it's saying to turn away. All right, or to change or to change around. All right. Deuteronomy 24 and 17, thou shalt not pervert the judgment of a stranger, nor the fatherless, nor take a widow's raiment to, to pledge. All right, so there you go, man. Job 8 and 3. Doth the most high pervert judgment, or doth the Almighty pervert justice? So yeah, man. You can see what it's talking about, Job 34 and 12. Yeah, surely the most high will not do weakly, neither will the Almighty pervert judgment. All right. Proverbs 31 and 5. Lest they drink and forget the law and pervert the judgment of any of the afflicted. So, yeah, man, as you can clearly see. All right, Jeremiah 23 and 6. But no longer refer, refer to the burden of the Lord. For each man's word will become his burdens, and you pervert the words of the living power, the Lord of hosts, our power. So there you go, man. It means to turn away. All right, or to change something from its natural course the way it's supposed to go. Daniel 11 and 32, and such as do weakly against the covenant shall he pervert by flatteries. But the people that know their power shall be strong and shall act. So there you go, man. As you heard Elder Hawaii bring out. All right, that's the, that's, the, that's the real meaning of pervert, man. And you got a lot of groups, all right, in Israel. That's perverting the word of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh uh, Shai, and perverting our people. All right, turning them away. All right, by not giving you the names, by not giving you the true names, they're still calling on Christ. That's that's breaking down the scriptures wrong. All right, that's doing all kind of wickedness. All right, rap videos and all kind of nonsense. That's perversion, man. All that is perversion, which means to turn to turn to turn away. All right. Let's see what we get when we get uh So yeah man Psalm one oh one and four A perverse heart shall depart from me and Salaki A perverse heart shall depart from me I will know no evil Proverbs 6 and 14, who with perversity in his heart continually despises evil who spreads strife. All right, and that's perversion, man. Proverbs 12 and 8, a man will be praised according to his insight, but one of perverse mind will be despised. Yeah, man. So there you go, man. That's 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 as the other whole I brought out, man. That's a real pervert, man. The when you turn people away, all right, from, from the most high. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. And you know, Esau has done that, man. He's perverted, all right, the scriptures, man. All right. Let's just get it like a uh, basic one is um, 
Let's see. Uh, leprosy. Yeah, man, like like here, man. All right, and this is a basic one, but I just want to bring you bring out a few uh, examples to back up the elder. All right, leprosy also calls Hansen's disease, bumps on the skin, granulomas, a chronic curable infectious disease mainly causing skin lesions and nerve damage. Leprosy is caused by infection with the bacterium Mycobacterium leprae. It mainly affects the skin, eyes, nose, and peripheral. Peripheral for nerves, all right, <laughs> and that's and that's not the true uh, meaning of leprosy, man. All right, let's get let's get let's get um what it really means. I think let's get one in um uh is it numbers? I think it's number thirty three. Numbers thirty three. Uh, I should have wrote these down right quick before, so I would have could have been able to go straight to them. Let me just look them up real quick. As you can see, that's what Esau says leprosy means, but that's not um what leprosy really is. All right, and um you have to go into the et etymology of words. All right, and the root words, and etymology means the study of the origins of words. You know, originally what words mean, not not what we think of today, man. Because Esau has turned everything upside down, and that's including the meaning of word. All right. Uh, let's get it real quick. Miriam became leprous. I know it's in numbers. All right, numbers 12. Let's go find it real quick. All right, and this, we're going to get this account real quick. Well, um, Arium and Salakia, Arium. <laughs> Miriam and Aaron were speaking against uh, Moses, all right, because he had married um, a heathen wife. All right, so let's get this account real quick. This is uh, Numbers chapter 12. Verse 1, and Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian, an Ethiopian woman. So like I'm, I'm a little excited. And they said, hath the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh shot indeed spoken only by Moses? Has he not spoken by us also? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek. And, so like now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake unto, suddenly unto Moses and, and unto Aaron and unto Miriam. Come out, ye three, unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Shai, came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and, Mir and Miriam. And they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so who was faithful in all mine house. All right, verse 8. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. All right, and this, this is the point. All right, verse 10. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous white as snow and Aaron looked upon me and behold she was leprous all right so there you go man that's the true um meaning of of leprosy all right which means um lack of pigmentation in the skin all right basically no hue or no color in your flesh man in your skin all right which which is um unclean all right which is the sin as we're about to read in verse 11 and Aaron said unto Moses I lost my lord I beseech thee lay not the sin upon us wherein we have done foolishly and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. Alright, so there you go, man. Leprosy is what these what the so-called white people have, these Edomites, alright? And some of our people are lepers, alright? Which just goes to show you the power of the Lord. Alright, you even have Israelites that's lepers, but they're still Israelites at the end of the day. But most most people that, that doesn't have any um, pigment or melanin in their skin, most of them are Edomites. 
All right, and that was the curse that the Lord put on Cain. All right, the wicked. All right, so you you would be able to um, identify the wicked. Now, in these times that we're living in now, in the end, it's harder because, like I said, we have been scattered into all nations, the Israelites. So we so some of our people, all right, are um, lepers. All right, but that's the real meaning of lepers, man. Not this not this bull. All right, what Esau Edom tell us, man. Bumps on the skin. All right. That's not leprosy, man. All right. Leprosy is the lack of um, pigmentation. All right. And that's how Esau Edom came out. All right. He came out leprous. All right. Red all over. All right. So, yeah, man. I just want to um, bring this out real quick. You know, to back up the elder. All right. Because... Esau has turned everything completely upside down. All right, let's get that real quick. All right, Isaiah 29. All right, 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the pot of clay. All right, for shall the work save him that made it? He made me not. Or shall the thing frame save him that framed it? He had no understanding. All right. And that first, um, the beginning of verse 16, that's the point, man. Surely, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed. That's the potter's clay. And that's including all uh, words and their meanings. All right. <laughs> because that's what Esau did, man. Because he, he brings about confusion. All right. Especially here in Babylon. And that's what that word Babel means, confusion. All right. So, yeah, I just, um, I just, this was a basic lesson. I just wanted to bring that out to back up the air the backup um El the Hawaii. And you know, El the Hawaii was the one that you saw on the um, far left of your screen, the shortest one. Alright, and the brother in the middle. Um so like your El the Hawaii's page is GMS North Carolina seven 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 and um GMS on the go. Alright, so go subscribe to his page, all right, and be edified. And the brother in the middle, all right, the tall um brother, I can't think of his um name right now, but uh, I know his page is um his YouTube page is GMS Spiritual War. So go subscribe to their pages and be edified. And I don't know the brother on the far right. All right. So lock your brother. All right. But yeah, man, I just wanted to bring this out real quick. You know, make this um, brief, quick lesson, you know, basic lesson. You know, and you Israelites, that's what, that's what um you should be doing, man. You know, studying, looking up the meaning of words, going into the etymology, going into the Hebrew, the Greek. All right, and not just um, following these reprobate groups for entertainment, man, because th that's what all these other groups are doing. They're reprobates. They're perverts. As the elder bought out, man, because they're turning our people away. All right. You know, so hopefully, um, let me see. What's another one? All right, Queen. All right, Queen is another one. And like I said, this basic, I ain't bringing out nothing new or nothing like that. All right, queen, but queen is another one. All right, the female ruler of an independent state, especially one who inherits the position by, by right of birth. And that's, and that's, 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 that's wicked, man, because ain't no such thing as no queen, man. As long as there are men on earth, men are the rulers, all right? <laughs> the scriptures say the woman shall not use authority over the man. All right, so there's no such thing as no, no female ruler. All right. Now you just have the you may have the wife of a king, and you know a true king is gonna have many wives. So, so there's no such thing as no you know one queen or whatever, man. You just have the king, and then you have the king's wives, man. You know such thing as no female rule. All right. The, the original word meaning of the word queen is whore. All right. Basically a prostitute. All right. When you go into the etymology. All right. Let's see. I think it's. I ain't even have to um search it. I am gonna search it, but let's see it's right here though. Queen definition in impudent or ill behaved girl or woman. Alright, so there you go, man. Alright. <laughs> A prostitute, man. So yeah, man, ain't no such thing as no no female ruler, you know, queen. <laughs> no, man. Alright. 
And I just wanted to bring that out to show you that that's what you get, you know, with GMS, man. You know, edification. They teach you to study and go in the world and, you know, look things up, you know, do research. And, you know, it may seem boring or sound boring, but, you know, you got, you got to, as, as we read, man, you got to study to show yourself approved, man, to be able to uh, rightly divide the word of truth. All right? And that's what, that's what you get with GMS, man. All right? So hopefully, you know, this was... um. Edifying, I just want to bring that out. Hopefully this was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. You know, I want to again, you know, give um double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Alright. Who teach and rule well and our truth and sincerity. And shalom, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. You know, you Israelite, that's what you gotta do, man. Alright. You gotta study. We in the end of this thing, man. So you should be studying. Alright, staying in the scriptures. All right, and seeking to get the hell out of here, man. All right, again, so hopefully this was edifying through the spirit of Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shah. All right, DTA, a blah, blah, blah. Shalom.